Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Exodus. This is episode 11. And the last time we left the Volga, and arrived at the Yamantau government bunker... If push comes to shove, you'll have to pretend to be a mute hero. You mean like me? Which is in pretty bad shape. And actually, I was surprised that we're here already. I actually thought we'd have to travel a bit more to get here, but we're gonna head down here and find out what's going on with the leftovers of the government. And I don't really know what to expect, aside from my guess is that there's gonna be nobody here except for like one or two guys. Oh my god, how do I get off the train? I'm seriously having trouble exiting the train. Oh, there we go. How was that beep? Alright. Wife and stepdad. Let's go see what's up. Did and let's just make sure everything is loaded. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't get to live out your dream of meeting the assholes in charge. That was really silent. Here goes nothing! Yeah, it's, uh, really not looking much better down here. Got some crusty curtains. And I see... Oh, there's a few people in there. Thought they might be mannequins, but they are moving. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Are they cannibals? <laughs> I cannot see. <laughs> All right, well, that definitely wasn't what I was expecting. But I guess if there was no one here and no one to keep them out, there's nothing to say the civilians here from before couldn't have taken over and become cannibalistic raiders. <laughs> Wearing tatters of, like, government uniforms. What the... Where am I? Where are the others? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. <coughs> so far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense, now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Are you not the Minister? You're just Minister? Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking! Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down. You'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that call from her. Untie my hands, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far. Well, she sounded a little bit like Tommy was over there. Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago. 
but quietly listens to wise people talk. I'm just very shy. I can only speak when no one's around. Like on loading screens. No. I think we have to hope that Sam and Co. are gonna come down here. So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. Well, this is not really anything worse than we've had to deal with in the metro. Though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. He's actually kind of a bad pick. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse myself. Come here. I'll rip you all apart. I guess he's already short some meat, though, with those robot legs. Here they come. Now will we fall again? Good. See, we could have done that, but they dropped us in a tiny room with them. And that's how shitty these people are, that only two rangers were required to take them all out. Alright. I think we're not going to lose any karma for killing any of these people. Got any ammo or anything around here? Not, not much, but... I guess they don't exactly have guns. Well, some of them do. Better just use the Kalash here. You can see the FOV change I didn't made actually messes with the uh, the hit marker a little bit. <laughs> Might be a good idea for me to take cover. There is still a lot of them. I am dry. Nope, I missed it a little bit. Alright, got some more shells. Got a lot of Kalash ammo. I only really need to worry about the ones with guns. Oh yeah, this is the same kind of spiral as D6, as he just said. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. I'm guessing we don't have to worry about a giant amoeba here anywhere. And the sick bay. 
Well, they said they were going to test her, so she's probably in the sick bay. Alright, time to do some exploring. Wait. You said come on, but you told me to stay here. I just lucked out. Missing the construction milestone was the best thing ever after all, to think I was so upset about that stupid bonus. What does a pile of ash need a bonus for? Now we have it made, the government didn't arrive after all, so all the complex is ours with all of its stores. The bunker was supposed to save a whole town, and there's just a couple of thousands of us. The only problem is the babe department, but we'll just wait till the radiation's dissipated and calmly walk down the mountain. Or rather, crawl up from under it. Some fucking luck. The government didn't arrive for a reason after all. The thing is, somebody did a better number on food reserve budget than on construction one. We managed to build the thing, even if it, even if late, but the stores are empty. Sure thing, all quartermasters are crooks and they had it coming. The bastards were telling the truth after all, the shelves are empty. Well, there are some seeds and pasta, but that shit won't last us even a year. And thus, cannibalism was born. I mean, I guess if everyone's showing up at this bunker to be saved, there's a steady supply of food, but what do you do once those people run out? I guess probably broadcast on the radio, hey, come to the Ark Project. Okay, we have to wait for the doors to cycle. So yeah, I'm glad they gave me a bunch of ammo, because it would have been kind of shitty if I had to waste all the ammo I've been saving. Well, looks like we've got a good amount for everything, except the Tihar, but we can just make more of that on the go. Alright. Let's see if there's anything I want to change for my guns. I mean, shotgun, I don't really have much going on. Okay, I have the standard barrel. I could put the longer one on, even though we're indoors, because it just makes it more accurate. all out ready for battle okay the door does not seem to be opening if there's a switch I gotta pull here no oh, there we go power just went out even though they have a nuclear reactor so they can't be running out of power How did that guy survive three shots? Oh, I think he had a Molotov. Again, we can't take a lot of bullets in this difficulty, so I gotta be kind of careful here. Can't really sneak around. It'd be nice to find some filters while I'm here. I know you can get more barrels for the A-shot. I think you can get up to quad. Should be good, because it's not really great right now. Right, let's pull all this ammo. I mean, I guess I'm still pretty full up after that box. Oh look, this is where they keep the extra meat. Poorly stored. With every one of these guys we kill, we give them more to eat. Well, it seems like they're not running short, though. They got plenty of meat here from before we even showed up. I guess you can't have an apocalypse without having at least one group of cannibals. Have you found her yet? Hurry up! Every second counts! 
I mean, she's not in the kitchen, so we don't have to worry about them eating her. Oh, what's this? Another box. I might as well loot the place. Well, these guys are fairly easy to deal with right now. I guess there wasn't a lot of bullets stored here. Oop. Still some, though. Oh, yeah. See, shotgun has been my number one cause of gun-related death in this game. But I just feel like the double barrel A shot is not really that powerful. At least it doesn't feel powerful. I don't know why I'm using the TR here. It's not like I need to conserve ammo. Now I just have to loot everything again. I'm surprised I'm so bad at finding postcards. Like, I bet if we go to collectibles here... Yamantau, there's two. And I bet I'm going to completely miss both of them, because I never look at the walls. You know, all the good stuff is on the ground, on shelves. I'm never just looking around being like, hmm, what can I pick up? Alright, nothing in there. Again, I wish that this stuff was translated by the signs translated. I'm going to quick save here, just so we don't have to do that again. Is that guy dead? Oh, that guy's way back there. Oh, got him. All these skeletons make it hard to see who's shooting at me. It's like back in that corner somewhere. I can see his light. Go. Oh, we got a whole skin here in case they need to make an extra jacket. It seems like they're not very efficient with their, uh, their whole cannibalism thing. Like, I guess this is refrigerated? Sort of? Oh, there's a new A-shot part. Look, I'm just saying, just because you're cannibals doesn't mean you have to be all messy. You could be a little neater with your food supply. And by shooting them with buckshot, we make them less appealing for their comrades to eat. What is this? I guess it's just a row of shelves that's missing. Or an oven? Alright, let's take a moment, see what I got for my A-shot. I think I just got like a grip or something. Grip and handguard. No, not as stable as the hunting stock. And that's all I got. However, I do also want to make medkits, because I have zero. Trying to get shot too much. Keep my light charged. So yeah, I guess I, I was incorrect in assuming that 
the whole game was just going to be across those kind of four main maps, aside from the intro. I guess in between the big maps, we're going to be going to... Why can't I take these bullets? We're going to be going to a variety of smaller, more scripted locations like this. Which is good, you know. I think it kind of breaks up the pace of the slow exploration nicely. Okay, I did have an interrupt. Okay, this looks like the armory. Oh, got another scope. I'm gonna guess that's a night vision scope. Yeah, nice to meet you two. You're right, proper cooked, mate. You know, I could put him out of his misery, but. Nah. Again, I'd be kind of annoyed if the game penalized me for killing these guys. These are like absolutely the last people you should allow to live. Speaking of postcards, got a lighthouse. No idea where that would be. I wonder if it'll say. Postcard number nine. Nope. Our team has no idea what these places are. Oh, I got a diary, but it was still trying to do. Okay, page two. Everyone just sits still. The stomach doesn't even bother me anymore. Good thing I don't listen to the fools about drinking a lot. It'll last at least a week more. Joints swollen, hard to write. I don't think I can write about this, but I must. They made soup a week ago. Five idiots in the barrack keeled over at once. They gobbled it up and burst their gut. I couldn't touch it for a day. Then I tasted a bit at night and hurled immediately. But in the morning, it tasted like chicken. At least I can write again. Thought I was a goner for sure. It's gonna be one of those cases where it's like, oh, by the way, you're a cannibal now, so deal with it. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything else back here. Don't worry, wife, I'm coming for you. But also, I'm going to steal everything on the way. Alright, so we don't want to get cooked, so we'll head up here. Was that a perfectly normal rat? Alright, it seems like a safer place to drop down because it's just the closet. These guys trying to pull some like Mad Max moves, jumping off walls and shit. Here's someone coming. I like how these guys, the ones that don't have bullets, just give you crafting supplies. You know, one complaint I've heard about this game that I do kind of agree with is that... I really wish there was more than just two crafting supplies, that we actually had specific materials to collect, because then it wouldn't feel so generic when we pick up supplies. Because, like, everywhere we loot, we just get mostly the same two things. Instead of like, oh, look, it's gunpowder so I can make bullets or grenades. But instead, it's just, uh, chemicals. Gunpowder falls into that category. So who's the person who just gets a plate of head? Like, they don't get it cooked or anything, they just drop a fucking head on a plate. And they're like, here you go, here's your dinner. Well... The only one I understand is bitch. Look at this place. 
It's a fucking mess. Someone didn't appreciate their living quarters. And you got this one guy who's got books. He's a little more cultured than the other cannibals. Most popular book in all of post-apocalyptic Russia. Metro 2033. Maybe it was written by Homer. One of the most annoying characters from 2034 and 2035. Who's basically just a pretentious asshole old man who wants to be a important author. And when Artyom tells him about the, the whole, hey, you know, the jammers are here and they've been isolating us, Homer decides that's not a cool story to tell the people of the Moscow metro to keep them hopeful. So he instead just writes about Artyom's Dark One adventures. Why can't we take these as postcards? These fucking 80s pinups. Alright, cutscene door. That's uh, not what I wanted to pull up. I wanted to pull up my... I wanted to pull up my night vision. But yeah, you can see there's like a square boundary for some of the blood because I turned up the FOV. It's not really supported by the game. What, do I not have my night vision? Okay, there we go. I actually don't really need those. Oh. I mean, they certainly don't have trouble seeing me, so I guess I'll just stick with the flashlight. Why is the meat gone? Yeah, night vision scope and infrared laser. Which you can only see with night vision. I'm on fire. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know how to avoid that there <laughs> once he already threw it. That was kind of like a, oh, uh, well, should have shot him quicker. Just in case there's anyone hiding back there. I gotta kill this guy before he chucks a Molotov in my face. God, like, what, what happened in this tunnel? Did they just shove all the garbage here? That takes him out. Not sure I want to go over there. Shit's still blown up. Oh, 
That was a shotgun, so that was very clearly, a, closely, a death there. <laughs> clearly. I wish you could find medkits more often. It seems very rare that you actually pick them up instead of having to craft them. Can I get through here? Can't even get across. <laughs> Got like a big armored man. Oh boy. Tried to throw a grenade there, but it bounced off the thing in front of me. All these guys are fucking, like, completely unarmored, and then we've got the Juggernaut here. I wonder if a Molotov would work better on him. Gotta be very careful about throwing it, though. down. They give you a little bit of all the ammo types from these two, which is good for these action set pieces. Alright, can I take his gun? Did he even drop a gun? He did drop a gun. That is some kind of Gatling gun. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, chuck my T-Har for now. I don't think you lose the mods. Wait, was that my TR? No, it's not. Okay, so I guess this goes into my assault rifle slot. I can't replace the TR. Well, it looks like you do drop the mods, but you can just strip them back off. Alright, so I've got a Gatling gun with... 75 ammo. Seems like a good thing to have in a place like this where it's just a bunch of unarmored mooks. Well, you can see where I blew a lot of his armor off. Where can I get myself some armor like that? Ah, it's almost like they expected me to use this gun here. It's gonna use a. Oh wow, I already used like all the ammo. I'm gonna say, you're gonna use a lot of my Kalash ammo. You know, some people, they just bring their meat back to the room with them, and then they just leave it there on the shelf to go run. Or they bring a whole corpse with them, because it's their favorite. Officer's Diary 1 It's been a month already since we became rats in a hole here, and what do we have to show for that? We don't even know if anyone's still alive out there. All the antennas were destroyed, and the radiation levels are so high there's no way to fix them. Though, even if the antenna were okay, would anyone have a reason to contact us? The big wigs never arrived, after all. Looks like the construction workers are right, though. We better get ourselves comfortable here, as we're in for a long run. Those idiots with that council of theirs. I would forgive the workers if they came up with bullshit like that, but why would the officers want to play these games? Just to be able to push the blame onto the government decree? 
When they cut the rations again, how is that supposed to help if there are simply no food reserves no matter what? Lunacy. The doctor is right. We, the radio technicians, are here for a reason. We will not just save our comrades, we will also help thousands of survivors outside. The only thing we need to do is fix the antennas, let the real government know we're alive. They will send us food shipments, and then the Ark Project will provide a shelter from radiation for all survivors. And what could be more important now? Well, it seems like they altered that plan a little bit. And they're like, hold on, here's a thought. What if we just eat everybody who shows up? Then we don't have to worry about feeding them. Okay, nothing in here. I guess I'm gonna have to use my shotgun now. Gatling gun is fun, but I don't know when we're ever gonna have enough ammo to use it. Because even if we were full up... I think we'd still burn through it pretty quick. With how inaccurate it is. And yeah, there's Anna. Artyom! I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just freeze! Yes, yes! Then Let just, him just go. don't kill me! Now. Remember what I told you! There was an ex- Enough chatter! Yeah, I was gonna say, if it gave me a choice to spare him or kill him, I would have killed him. Are you alright, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Artyom found me, but also I had to call in because he can. Sorry, I know I talk shit about that all the time, but it's still funny to me. Silent protagonist doesn't really make sense for this game. Right, looks like we don't have anything lying around here to take. No journal entries or anything. Hmm. So is this all the... The inedible sick people? Maybe yeah, we just pile them up in this hallway. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damn fanatics. Anna, you do remember where we come from, right? There's a lot of bad shit in the metro. Nothing can be done. They have five days at most. At least Doc says he can give them something for the pain. Who could have known that they'd go up to fix the antennas? Boys should have told me. Should have at least worn the suits. It's up. I just sent the first message. Made it. The boys are still alive. Alyosha even smiled when I told him. At least now they'll know they didn't die in vain. So I get the radio online and they remove me immediately. I can't even get any news. They say it's all secret. Put guards at the door too, the bastards. And they struck me from the special rations distribution list. Way to reward honest effort. This is terrible. How did the others survive all this time? It's only been two weeks and already I can't think anything but food. The others have been getting the same rations for months. Two more weeks. The legs are getting swollen. The workers told me I drink too much. I have no energy to move. Even writing feels like hard work now. Apathy. At least the hunger is a bit blunted now. They are here! They heard us and came! Yes, they're just refugees, but they're here. Soon we'll get the supplies, it's not too late yet, everything will be fine now. Of course, the refugees are quarantined for now, but soon I'll be able to ask them about everything. I heard the quarantine will last longer than we thought. They brought some bug with them. They also brought rations though, even given meat broth for now. We couldn't stomach anything heavier anyway. What a great feeling though, whole body feels warm. And the taste, unforgettable. I don't get this. The second group of refugees, they brought supplies, but it's just meat, no grains or anything. And they're all quarantined too, while the last group has been there for over a month now. Why well, haven't been told a thing about the situation in the country or the government? Why? I must have a frank conversation with Doc. He'll oblige with the for old friendship's sake. So again, they didn't even tell them that, hey, by the way, we're feeding you people. Well, no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. 
That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. You doing all right there? You want a gun or something? Well, I guess some of the command staff were still alive. I'm all right. Who could have known? Who knew these these creatures kept eating people for twenty years? Could you imagine that? I'm sorry. I got carried away like a greenhorn recruit. The minister was going to see me. Conceit made me complacent. I even saluted those ghouls. Some fucking ark. These monsters have it made me. Like the watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these. Alright, but what do we do I'll now? Be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Yeah, this was kind of our goal. All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still the ones that light up work for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision <laughs> to get it. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. Yeah, I guess that's why it wouldn't let me take that rifle. Breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. Wow, you broke everything just in five seconds? Can't you just set the reactor to critical or something? Let the place fucking melt down. Alright, nothing to loot here. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? You're right, of course. But do you intend to live forever? <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time of what is allotted to me with that guy over there. Not feeling attached to him. That I understand. Come on, you apes. You want to live forever? All right, let's uh get gone. You waiting for me to... No, oh, okay. I thought they were waiting for me to hit a button. Yeah, I don't have any long-range weapons now. Is it the TR? I really should have took my AK back. Oops. I was not aiming for that. <laughs> I missed and hit the thing I should have hit. Okay, those are our guys, right? Nope, those are not our guys. I was trying to hit that barrel that time, but I wasn't accounting for the rotation. Oh, it looks like uh, Sam found the Gatling gun of his own. A lot of them here, but they did say there was like thousands, so there's probably still a lot of them, even after the ones we killed. Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. Sorry, Miller. Your government is in another bunker. Well, that was fun. Oh, 
You think I believe those pricks from Hansa? I believe that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka. I mean, you're not wrong, Miller. That was a pretty stupid thing to believe. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. I'm just going to say, Stepan, that's not a good idea. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. I mean, it's pretty hard to ignore Anna's what cough when you know that's going to come up later on. Leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites, we won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. What if there's First, giant squid? We have to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. All right, so I guess we've kind of completed the first arc of the story. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn then. <laughs> I like how I didn't get to actually pick the location. It's just like, here Three you go. Months on the road. Three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Near kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. Alright, so I think this might be the Mad Max one, if the Caspian is all dried out. But we're going to end the video here in a moment. As soon as we get control back. Because I think that was a pretty good episode all by itself. Oh yeah, this is looking like Mad Max territory. I do find it funny that in every one of these sections, Anna has a different outfit. Also, shouldn't they be amazed by this? Nothing but sand and heat. Like, where have they ever like been that was warm here. like this? Artyom, a car! Artyom, a stupid car that was driving on the road. The railroad. Hmm, well, I'm sure we can expect no trouble from Thug. Is that a mini demon? Somehow, I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody. This is like one of the few places where I get consistent frame rate problems is when we're on the train. Oh. You and the mere reconnoitre the area. We need to find that damn bunker, and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. There's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. 
And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Well do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Yeah, just don't make me rescue Sergeant, your ass again from some bunker. who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Alright, so... Rest. Can your rail car pull I don't know train? if this is the big desert map. It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the Because this looks fairly we small as well. Left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. Why didn't you say so before? Because you never asked. Is the injection system in working order? Yeah, probably. I would need to check it. Well, take crest and run the checks. Oh yeah, we'll take care of your chick chuck, no problem. But uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Hmm. Judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. What about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. All right, so we got a couple objectives here. All right, let's go check those fuel sprinklers now. I bet they all need cleaning or something. Let's go. All right, so next time we will take a look around the Casbiad, or what's left of it, and try to We're find some of the stuff bunker, we need. But yeah, I like the dramatic change of appearance here because, you know, the the Volga wasn't really that different from the surface in Blast Light, kind of swampy, snowy area. But this is dramatically different from anything in a previous Metro game. So until next time, I've been Shadefire, this is Metro Exodus, and I hope you'll join me as we continue our journey across post-apocalyptic Russia now that we know for sure there's no government left. Until next time, take care, folks.